Question An important aspect of the Crips mission of 1942 was a. That all Indian states should join the Indian Union as a condition to consider any degree of autonomy for India. b. The creation of an Indian Union with dominion status will be soon after the Second World War. c. The active participation and cooperation of the Indian people communities and political parties in the British war efforts as a condition for granting independence with full sovereign status to India after the war. d. The framing of a constitution for the entire Indian Union, with no separate constitution for any province and a Union constitution to be accepted by all provinces. Correct answer is B. The creation of an Indian Union with dominion status will be soon after the Second World War. Question Which one of the following is not true about the Crips mission? A. Dominion status at the end of the war. B. Acceptance of the constitution framed by Constituent Assembly. C. The formation of new executive council with equal representation for both Hindus and Muslims. D. Any province could remain outside the Indian Union. Correct answer is. C. The formation of new executive council with equal representation for both Hindus and Muslims. Question In which year did the Crips mission come to India? A. 1940 B. 1942 C. 1944 D. 1946 Correct answer is B. 1942 Question The plan of Sir Stafford Crips envisaged that after the Second World War. A. India should be granted complete independence. B. India should be partitioned into two before granting independence. C. India should be made a republic with the condition that she will join the Commonwealth. D. India should be given dominion status. Correct answer is. D. India should be given dominion status. Question Who viewed the Crips proposal as a post-dated check upon a crashing bank? A. Mahatma Gandhi B. Jawaharlal Nehru C. J. B. Kripalani D. Jaya Prakash Narayan Correct answer is A. Mahatma Gandhi Question Who of the following Prime Ministers sent Crips mission to India? A. James Ramsey MacDonald B. Stanley Baldwin C. Neville Chamberlain D. Winston Churchill Correct answer is D. Winston Churchill Question Who among the following were official Congress negotiators with Crips mission? A. Mahatma Gandhi and Sardar Patel B. Acharya J. B. Kripalani and C. Rajagopalachari C. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and Maulana Azad D. Rajendra Prasad and Rafi Ahmad Kidwai Correct answer is C. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and Maulana Azad. Question Who among the following called the movements of Gandhiji as political blackmail? A. Lord Chelmsford. B. Lord Wawel. C. Lord Lanlithgow. D. Lord Montague. Correct answer is C. Lord Lanlithgow. Question Sir Stafford Cripps came to India with a draft declaration of proposals of British. Government included that. 1. India should be given a dominion status. 2. 
All provinces and states must be merged to make the Indian Union. 3. Any province or the state can take the decision to live outside of the Indian Union. 4. Indian constitution must be constituted by the people of India. Choose the correct answer from the code given below. A. 1, 2 and 3. B. 1, 2 and 4. C. 2, 3 and 4. D. All of these. Correct answer is D. All of these. Question Consider the following statements. The CRIPS proposals include the provision for 1. Full independence for India. 2. Creation of constitution making body. Which of the statement S given above us are correct? A. Only 1. B. Only 2. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. Correct answer is B. Only 2.